my name is uh, Dirk Andritzky, <coughs> I'm from uh, Germany, and I'm uh, 47 years old and uh, come from uh, Berlin, the capital city of uh, Germany, and I started business in the 80s, uh, where uh, the market is very close, I come from the uh, in Berlin, we say from the island of Berlin, because around us was the GDR. You know, Germany was devoted in two parts, and um, the market in, on the island it's very closed, and uh, it's uh, no. We have no competitors, and um, and from my point of view, it changed totally. And uh, now I want to show you how we show broadband mapping and what kind of tools we can use for um, strategic uh, planning of uh, FTTX <coughs> networks. Um, I have uh, built up uh, three parts of my uh, short um, presentation. First is what kind of company I come from and work for. Then the German uh, broadband mapping and then the strategic planning. TÜV Rheinland is a uh, traditional company, 140 years old and is uh, independent and is an, on the top of the company a non-profit organization. The uh, separate units have built up uh, profit, right? Yes, that's true, but on the top they give it the money back to the units so that we can grow up and build up new companies in different countries. You see we have 490 locations in 61 uh, countries around the world. And we have 2,500 different services and uh, I speak here for the broadband services. Uh, we build up not only broadband mapping, we have uh, different services like broadband consulting and technical consulting to uh, give support for the major companies uh, for the telco like uh, measurement or build up new uh, points of um, uh, technical points. And we supporting on the first is uh, Federal Ministry of Economics and Technology. That's our major um, customer, and it goes up to the European Commission. Um, when we start um, the broadband mapping, we have four major points to give uh, the. Um, to build up. Uh, it is a market overview um, from because uh, all different uh, telco solutions give uh, the information to us. Uh, we creating transparency that's uh, new because uh, sometimes it's a closing uh, uh, information and that help us to give uh, um, to identify, identify areas of improvement and um, to help the states to know where they must uh, focus for to improve the, the uh, broadband. And it helps us to supporting the planning and decision making process for telcos and for the states. It was a um, quick rapid production. In seven months, we built up the uh, solution. Um, it was launched in uh, October 2010, so maybe a uh, two years old uh, solution. Um, the basic uh, idea is how we show the broadband is to build up a 250 square meter and uh, to put all the information, we uh, get it uh, into the square. I give you some uh, information later, what all information is in it. Uh, we can show five different broadband classes, classes because um, you see one megabit is a basic uh, um, German basic broadband uh, two. Uh, megabit to show is um, basic for uh, 
the minimum of um, public funds, funds and uh, six, 16 the typical rates of uh, Telco solution and 50 megabit is the uh, uh, aim for the um, uh, politician in 2015 and 2018. In Germany, we can find two different uh, roadmap. One is what we built up from uh, TÜV Rheinland, the broadband map, and the second is uh, a collection of infrastructure, and it was um, um, a production of the um, um, Federal Network Agency. They are divided. Uh, what we shown it's absolutely free and open so you have um, normal look into it on the other side the vector data the infrastructure it's a closed user group and you have no few inside what we build up is the 200 square meter uh, solution and what is the idea of 250 square meters is uh, that is independent of um, uh, new uh, borders because in Germany from uh, the states and the communities sometimes the borders changing and if you look into the road map and uh, fix it on the borders you have the problem the borders change and uh, the broadband mapping is not um, equal over the years so with the 200 square meters we can give information on standards on uh, former times. This is a different uh, information in one of the boxes uh, in uh, the 250 square meters. We have from all operators information. We have uh, 20, uh, 22 million uh, addresses inside uh, in it. We have every household in, inside it, uh, postal codes, uh, we have access from the main telecom, the German telecom, we have population figures, it is very deep information in each square meter. How the information come inside? First is to get uh, connection to the Telcos and to give them the feeling that the information is safe because <coughs> what they have not known is that the information from a main uh, telco goes to another telco that we are make sure that the information we get is only we know it and uh, no other telco gets the information from the other and uh, typical on the downside the uh, uh, main uh, telcos, uh, telcos give the information very detail on uh, how many broadband uh, and how many households they can support it and um, so we can see the uh, situation that not always 16 megabit is uh, supported we see it down how far you get from the connecting point so slower your broadband Yes, we make quality uh, assurance because we get information, we control it, uh, we get uh, feedback from the population who say in my address uh, shown broadband is not right, so we control every square meter um, is the information <coughs> right or wrong and go back to the telco and say the public information say it is not right and then we find uh, for every question a solution for showing the wide way of uh, broadband access. On first you have uh, a zoom up to the scale of uh, 1 to 20,000, it's very detailed, it's not so detailed, you have problems with uh, security of uh, data, uh, but it's so detail that the people can look to her own house and find the right address. And uh, you can see on the right side the uh, different companies who offer um, the 
a broadband access in this city or in this community. And uh, you have some um, short information about the broadband access in each um, um, city or in each community, the small parts of the community view what we offer. And over this basic information, we offer some uh, thematic maps for the federation uh, government uh, and some statistics to show how grow up the broadband in the last years and uh, to show into the future what will come next. Uh, here you can see uh, the uh, table from the end of the year. We have now mid-years uh, tables, but the uh, federation um, uh, uh, government say not right now to present it because first they wanted to show it in Germany. So you can see one megabit up to 50 megabit. Uh, 50 megabit now we are by nearly by 50 percent. That's the situation we have in Germany. And you see the growing rates. Um, the rapid uh, situation in 50 megabits because uh, Cat TV is uh, going with DOCSIS 3, making rapid uh, growing. But we see on the rural areas with no Cat TV, they have uh, real problems, and the goals for the 2015 and 2018 are real goals. What you can see into it is uh, more uh, external analysis for the public. Maybe I come from Berlin, so I show you Berlin. Uh, the smallest information we show it into one community. Berlin is one community, so we show Berlin as one part uh, how the broadband situation is. But Berlin is a real big city. And it will help to see more different. On the right downside, you see the smaller districts of Berlin, and you can see the different situation <coughs> of broadband um, solutions into a town. So not all areas in Berlin have a real good access to broadband. We have some problems in Berlin too. And here you can see households without broadband access in the north of Berlin. You see 3,500 households without broadband access. Not one megabit, nothing. Uh, maybe, yes, it is the uh, area of the East Berlin part, and um, the last 20 years they want to go up uh, broadband access, but it takes time. So we offer for different uh, countries um, solutions on the top of the basic uh, broadband mapping um, with more deep, deep information so that you can get on every square how many households are inside that help the communities to find uh, the the information they require to build up information and for countries we offer an infrastructure marketplace because uh, they know the infrastructure map but uh, it is too hard to get information outside of it so it's easier to collect it themselves and show it for the own country uh, to find a planning solutions. The third part of my presentation is uh, strategic uh, planning and cost optimization. Typical, it is uh, uh, focused on point three of the, uh, the royal uh, cost estimation and budget uh, planning. That's the focus on this, what we supported. How we get the information, we have some on the right, on the top, uh, the geographic basic data a lot of information, all addresses, all broadband uh, situations. We have cost model. We have the cost of each uh, um, solution from um, uh, fiber and from um, wireless everything. 
and we have a um, complicated uh, mathematic algorithm, uh, lots of uh, mathematics uh, and research uh, solutions come inside. It's not so easy in my, I have, uh, when I see the mathematics, I say, okay, that's not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> and what we get is, uh, on the first, uh, some figures, we get some maps and we get some charge. And you can see on the maps, every household can get an access to the broadband of fiber. And on the end, you know what's the cost solution. And this is the idea what the federal um, uh, say to us, help us to see the cost situation in economic broadband removal <coughs> uh, 50 megabits in non-providing areas. That is one major question and we uh, get into the solution and build up a cost model for Germany to show uh, how many um, money they must spend into the broadband. Mm -hmm. And um, we uh, divided in two parts. First is uh, how many money they must spend for the uh, aim in 2014 for 75%. And then the next step, nearly 100% how many money they have spent in 2018. And uh, it gives them a cost overview and then they know how much public funds maybe they must offer to get into the rural areas and um, the problem areas. And uh, we have the entry data, a lot and um, very complicated. We have the calculation and then we have the cost studies in three parts, what we offer the formal uh, government, the federation government. And we build up solution for, um, for, 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 let me see, so for the uh, utilities um, that um, wanted to start into the local area to build up uh, FTTX into the houses. And uh, we can see in the model we and the contracts we use that for up to 6% of uh, cost saving uh, we <coughs> can see when you used uh, the free duct network. That's not so much than uh, normally um, people say, but we use them in, in, in towns and see often it's not the right duct and uh, so the cost saving effects not so high that um, people thinking about it. <coughs>